and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about a bike that's on sale this bike has been out there for a while and it's currently on sale $500 off and that bike is the Ariel Rider X-Class now they recently increased the price of that bike regular price is now $23.99 but right now you can buy the bike for $18.99 and that's a really good price. Now I'm going to go over some of the specs in just a moment but first I wanted to mention that in the 48 lower states it is free uh, shipping and the bike does come in three colors red, blue or black. Let's go over uh, some of the specs on the bike. So first of all, the bike has a 1000 watt 52 volt motor and that motor peaks at 2000 watts. The torque is 110 Newton meters, so it's got quite a bit of torque. Now the battery is a 52 volt 20 amp hour. It does come with a 52 volt two and a half amp charger. The bike does have full suspension. And it does have hydraulic disc brakes. They've recently uh, changed out the handlebars. They now have BMX style uh, handlebars to raise you up a little bit, which is good. I don't like that leaning over. I want to be more upright, but that's just a personal preference for me. But I like, uh, like the handlebars on this bike, the BMX on the uh, Lyric Graffiti are absolutely perfect. I love the positioning. Um, these handlebars are fantastic. And uh, so some of the other things on the bike. The controller. The, the controller is a 33 amp controller. So not bad at all. They, get, they uh, claim a top speed of 30 plus miles per hour. Uh, the range, I uh, sh uh, shake my head no on this one. They claim the uh, range to be 75 miles, even if you're in pedal assist one all the time. I really don't know if you could get that kind of mileage. Uh, I really don't think so. My motto is always for if you're throttling only, every amp hour the battery is is about one mile is the way i look at it if you're going to go fast riding so uh i'd say you're more probably in the 30 mile range maybe maybe 35 possibly but something like that and uh 75 is kind of a little bit hard to believe I'll believe it when I see it kind of thing. Uh, let's see, what else with this? What else? Oh yeah, the bike, I forgot to, I was gonna mention this about the lights. So they've improved the headlight over what they used to have as well. I don't know how much, but. And they've also got now uh, along with the uh, tail and brake light signal lights there's now turn signals on the bike
five levels of pedal assist I didn't mention that it has a uh, payload capacity of uh, 300 pounds the seat height is a little bit high a little bit high 33 inches not terrible but if you're a shorter rider uh, I think you'd prefer it to be more like 30 or 31 inches I wish they would come you could somehow adjust them but you just can't do it Uh, it does have two USB ports I should mention that too one on the display here and one down on the battery I saw the bike weight and I believe it was 69.6 or 66.9 I can't remember which one it for sure uh, weight but I think that's without the battery because that seems awful light to me I think the uh, may not have included the battery then again they may have if they have that's an awful light bike and I'm surprised that it's that light in weight it does have fenders on it as well and there's a few extras you can purchase, like uh, extra uh, rear, uh, like a seat for the uh, passenger rider rack and things like that. But the price at $18.99 for a 1,000 watt, 52 volt with a 20 amp hour battery is pretty reasonable for the uh, moped or scrambler style bike because these tend to run a little bit more pricier um, the tires I didn't mention they're 20 by 4 CST not the greatest tires in the world in my opinion you're not going to get a lot of miles before you have to swamp them out So expect to uh, be changing your tires uh, before long. And as far as those colors, the red, blue, or black, all of those tire, uh, uh, colors look good on that bike. And I should also mention that it is a optional whether you want to get a step over or a step through. Step-through bikes are becoming more and more popular. I'm seeing a lot of step-throughs now. And they're just so much easier to get on and off of, you know, that right now I don't have a problem swinging my leg around to get up on a bike, but at some point, you know, we're all, it gets more, everything gets in life gets more difficult. So uh, the easier we can make it, the better. So, and I like the look of the, uh, the step through that doesn't bother me at all I kind of like those so I'd be good with either bike I kind of I think I would actually pick the step uh, step through myself if you want to comment on this video or any other video for that matter just go ahead and leave it in the comments below I try to um, get to all of the comments when I uh, have time to do it. Sometimes it's a little bit uh, difficult trying to juggle a full-time job and uh, the YouTube uh, channel on the side. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check out the bike and read all the full specs. I didn't give every single spec on the bike, but they have quite a list there. Uh, you can check it out. Uh, they've got a lot of uh, a lot of info on the bike. Eighteen ninety nine. I don't know how long the sale is for, but a pretty good deal, I'd say. I don't. I don't think it's unfair at all to, for that price.
again, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.